24 hours of Le Mans, where man and machine face their limits and find what lies beyond. It's pure race. Le Mans is the most demanding race on earth. You have to have the mentality of a warrior. As well as the most dangerous. Always been a motorsport fan, um, and Le Mans to me is, is the pinnacle of that. It gives you uh, everything, everything in one. You've got something for everybody. You've got the overtaking. You've got the different types of car. The different, you know, classes of driver. You've got the danger. You've got the intrigue. You've got the endurance. Um, and, and to me, it, it just excites me. And I wanted to bring my excitement and my passion to the screen. It's been really, really strange because, you know, when Charlotte approached me uh, last year sometime about doing it, I said to her, well, you know, why is anybody going to be interested in it? And we, we've been lucky because we've had such a dramatic season. I think the film would have been very different if we'd not had the crash, if Loic had not have crashed, and then we'd come fifth at Le Mans. You know, nothing, there would have been no drama, nothing would have happened, and we all would have gone home. So um, it's been... It's been nice having them around. Sometimes, you know, you just get out of the car and they put a camera in the face and, you know, especially at Le Mans, you know, you'd rather they weren't there. Qualifying was pretty special because up until the final qualifying session, we were down in 19th, I think, or something like that. And we, were, we had a few problems with the car and we never got any clear laps and the rest of it. And even in that session, we still had a problem and only had one lap to do the time and it went from pretty much last first in, in that one lap and that was my first real proper lap around the moment because you have so much traffic with all the Ferraris and the Porsches all the GT cars it, it's just not easy even with two days testing to get one proper clear lap so that was a special moment that's when I realized that you know this circuit was would suit me and then obviously the start of the race as well was pretty special with all the build-up to it and the fact that I actually started I only did a few night laps in the final part of qualifying to qualify for the race and it was always going to be difficult going into the race, but I got up to, pay, up to speed very quickly. And uh, you know, knowing the team, I think, and knowing the car, I think it helped a lot. And you know, the team had done a great job with the car, and uh, yeah, it was a phenomenal race to go from not even being there, um, and to be yeah, I'm so so good at the start of the week to to then standing on the podium as a race as the race winner at Le Mans was. Uh, one of the most surreal experiences of my life and one of the best experiences of my life. In terms of enjoyment, I think it'll be the underdog type thing because we, you know, we properly were underdogs. I think we were 13 to 1 or 11 to 1 or something like that, you know, just before the start of the race. Um, it's a kind of human interest thing and I think maybe, you know, from my point of view, I sort of set out to do this not long ago, um, having never driven a car before. And, you know, I had a lot of luck and a lot of help along the way and a lot of practice and a lot of crashes. Um, but, you know, maybe they'll enjoy that sort of, you know, being able to overcome you know, like anything and achieve your dream. In motorsport, it has to be quite secret, secretive because there's a lot of money being spent on the cars and new updates and everything like that going through. So the teams deliberately try and keep the public away from, from the sort of the, the inside goings on within the team and I think what this documentary will do is really show exactly what goes on and maybe give the public and the fans a, a greater insight to exactly how the teams prepare and how the you know the, the, um, the European Championship races work and the build-up to, to the big one which obviously is the one so hopefully that will come across but we'll see. I think it's gonna you know show what Le Mans means to people and to us as drivers uh, to the team uh, and you know it's really one of those races it's got a special history History. It's a massive race, you know, it's a real challenge to race for 24 hours flat out and you know that's the thing, you've got to go flat out now. You can't try and save the car or anything, you've got to you've got to go for it. So um, yeah, it's it's a real challenge and hopefully it'll portray all that that passion and uh, you know the challenge of racing at the moment. I think what happens on ground level in motorsport is something that is driven by the heart you know it's not driven by money and it's not driven by the head everyone has to be slightly crazy to be honest to be there um, and, and have a passion for it because if they didn't there's no financial reward you know it drains everybody's pocket people have to drain every ounce of, of energy and love and passion that goes into it um, and I hope that we got an insight into that world The more the race, everyone wants to win one day. 
can buy a lot in motor racing. But you can't buy the respect of the drivers, you have to earn it. Glamour. History. Join us on the journey to Le Mans.